is some problem based on parts per million that is ppm so question is uh, calculate the mass of calcium oxide required to remove the hardness of 10 to the power 6 liter of water containing 1.62 gram of calcium bicarbonate per liter so here we can write here so calcium oxide plus calcium bicarbonate so when they react they will give you calcium carbonate plus so water so two calcium is there you can write here this is the balanced equation now question is uh, calculate the amount of calcium oxide is remove the hardness of 6 liter of water containing 1.62 gram of calcium bicarbonate per liter so we can write here uh, equivalent of calcium bicarbonate will be how much so weight is given here 1.62 gram so equivalent we are finding equivalent of this one is equal to equivalent of this one so this is our basic target so 1.62 and uh, molar mass of SCO3 is 162 and and factor will be 2 so this is the equivalent if you solve it you will get here 0 0.02 so equivalent of calcium oxide is equal to equivalent of this much so equivalent of uh, calcium oxide will be 0 0.02 now this weight we know that so in one liter we require how much 0.02 equals this is 0.02 per liter okay this is your per liter so in one liter 0 0.02 equivalent okay so we can write here in one liter we require 0 0.02 equivalent of calcium oxide okay so how much we have given we have given 10 plus 6 liter for 10 plus 6 liter we require 0 0.02 into 10 to the power 6 so this is this much equivalent we require and uh, how much weight is so this is nothing but the weight of calcium oxide and divide by 56 by 2 so weight of calcium oxide will be how much 0 0.02 into 10 power 6 into 56 by 2 so here we will get answers 5.5 point, 5 point 5 answer is 10 power 5 grams so this is our basically answers so in second questions, one liter sample of hard water contains one milligram calcium oxide and one milligram. Second question, one milligram magnesium chloride. So okay, so find the total hardness water in terms of calcium carbonate per ten plus six parts of water by mass. So again, so milli, we can write here milli moles of calcium chloride is so weight by molar mass. So weight is one and calcium chloride is 111 into 10 power 3 okay so this is the moles multiplied by 1000 this will become millimoles okay the next is your milli mole of magnesium chloride same thing so this is the weight is given here 1 milligram so divide by molar masses if you solve it you will get 95 and multiply by 3 so this is your mole and by 3 so this is your millimole okay now add it this two, this two is so on adding. You will get a one by thousand. Okay, this will be one by ninety five. The total will be one 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 plus one by ninety five total millimoles. So you will get here two hundred sixty five divided by hundred eleven into ninety five. So this is the milli mole. Okay, this is milli mole. Now ppm. So ppm is the weight of calcium oxide, or you can say weight of calcium oxide here by weight of the water in 10 power 6 okay so moles is given here so this is the this is nothing but the we can write here moles of calcium carbonate per liter the total weight will be 206 divided by 111 into 95 okay so this is the millimole so again uh, moles of calcium carbonate so weight of calcium carbonate is molar mass is thousandth mole into molar mass of so we'll get a weight and again here we will get thousand okay and this is the millimole this is the millimole so convert into mole so we write here divide by thousand into 10 power 6 so this is this one this is the liter this is the weight molar mass okay so we will get your weight so weight by liter weight by liter into this one so here if you solve it so we will get your answer here 1.953 this is basically our answers now next question 10 power 100 ml sample of hard water is passed through a column of the ion exchanger resin RS2. Okay, the water coming off the column required this much 15.17 ml of uh, 0.0265 molar sodium hydroxide for the titration. What is the hardness of the water as ppm of calcium oxide? 
so here we can write here milli equivalent of calcium is equal to milli equivalent of H plus and this is equal to milli equivalent of sodium hydroxide used okay this is there now we can see weight of calcium oxide weight of calcium is nothing but the 40 by 2 and this is equal to uh, 15.17 divided by 1000 so we are taking sodium hydroxide okay this side by 1000 into uh, this is the n and this is the uh, molality is 0 0.0265 so definitely we will get here weight of calcium oxide so calcium, calcium oxide will be 8.04 into 10 to the power minus 3 gram now hardness so hardness again same formula hardness ppm we are finding so ppm means again weight is given 80.04 into 10 to the power minus 3 and divide by uh, hardness of ppm so divide by 100 so this is given and multiplied by 10 to the power 6 so on solving we will get here 80.4 okay so this is the weight of uh, sorry hardness in ppm of calcium okay so calcium as ppm calcium is we are taking here calcium carbonate okay Yes, we take in terms of calcium carbonate. So this is our answer. Next, uh, hundred ml sample, not calcium carbonate. It is hundred. So next, a sample of drinking water is found to be severely contaminated with CNC is supposed to be carcinogen level of contamination 15 ppm by mass so again we see percentage by mass so percentage by mass of what 15 ppm they have given so right here 15 so divided by 15 so 15 is the uh, by mass and again 10 power 6 is the weight of the water okay so again you multiply it and divide by 1000 so we will get an answer 1.5 5 into 10 power minus so this is the percentage by mass so first question is second question is solve it they ask the molality so molality is uh, mole per liter so mole is 15 by 119.5 so this is nothing but the CHCl3 and plus mass of the substance okay so mole is given and total volume is given 10 power 6 and multiplied by 1000 okay so this is our mole per liter uh, you will get the answer 1.25 into 10 power minus 4 molality so again what is the weight of calcium oxide uh, say 12 12.14.2 uh, gram of sodium sulfate is present in 10 power 2 uh, kilogram of water what is the concentration in ppm so very simple so in ppm we want to know so right here ppm equal to weight by weight of the water okay so weight is how much 14.2 gram okay this is the weight of the water and weight of the sodium sulfate and divide by weight of the water so weight of the water is 10 square into 10 power 3 so this is the total weight of weight, weight in gram by weight of the water so into multiplied by 10 power 6 so if you solve it you will get here 120 42 ppm so this is the basic answer ppm is weight of the substance divided by weight of the solution into 10 power 6 this is called ppm okay so this will give you this much okay. now question number 6 if you solve question number 6 so here is again same so again you have to find the 100 ppm is given here due to calcium bicarbonate again same thing is there so calcium uh, bicarbonate okay it will react with calcium hydroxide and it will give you calcium carbonate plus water okay here moles are also equal so we can write here total 100 ppm they have given it okay and we are, same, and we are required to find weight of calcium hydroxide so weight of calcium hydroxide we require to find out okay so weight of calcium oxide will be divided by how much so this will be your 74 molar mass so moles is there and again divide by 10 per 6 and again you multiply it by uh, 10 so it is this is the 10 liter so right here 10 liter and again divide by 10 power 3 so weight by volume is 10 liter 3 into 5 so we'll get answer here 
weight of calcium hydroxide will be how much OH whole twice will be so this is 100 is 100 so if you solve it so we will get here 74 into uh, square into square and divide by 76 so if you solve it here you will get this is 4 to 5 so we can see here 6 this is 3 plus 4 and 4 plus 2 6 so something is wrong so for something wrong so this is 100 ppm and where is the calcium this is you instead of hydroxide we have to write carbonate so this carbonate instead of 74 we have to write here 100 so where is the calcium carbonate by 100 ok so not 100 this is exactly this is wrong so where is the calcium carbonate weight is given at this 10 power 3 is given so weight by volume is so weight of the solute and weight of the solvent into 10 power 6 so here weight of the uh, you cut it all this one wrong this is weight of calcium carbonate is equal to 100 so into here how much 10 power 4 divided by 10 power 6 so we are getting here 1 gram ok so here moles of calcium carbonate will be how much so this will be here 1 into uh, 100 so moles is given now so weight by molar mass so moles will be given here so weight by 100 so this is 0 0.01 mole ok this is 0 0.01 mole so again weight of sorry moles of calcium carbonate is 0 0.01 mole which is nothing but which is equal to moles of calcium hydroxide ok so 0 0.01 mole so here weight of calcium hydroxide is asking so this is multiplied by 74 so we will get here 74 grams so this is our proper answer